Hi kids! This is Teacher May, your teacher for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest videos. Before we start our new lesson, let's have a short review. Activity 1, name it. Instructions, show the following pictures of graphs to the class. Let them identify what type of graph is it. Activity 2, Analyze it. Instructions, let us analyze the situation. After that, let us answer the questions that follows. Joanna owns a grocery store. One of the products she sells in her store is ice cream. During the first week of May, her weekly ice cream sales are as follows. Ice cream sales for the week. Monday, 300 pesos, Tuesday 440 pesos, Wednesday 550 pesos, Thursday 420 pesos, Friday 510 pesos, Saturday 790 pesos, and Sunday 820 pesos. In what day is the ice cream sales lowest? In what day is the ice cream sales highest? What is the total weekly ice cream sales? Based on the table, what can you infer about the ice cream sales? Do you think there is another way of presenting the data in the table? Let us unlock your vocabulary. Once you've finished Activity 2, let's dive into some new math concepts together. Data Data is a collection of facts and figures that can be in numerical or non-numerical form. Data collection Data collection refers to the systematic process of gathering, measuring, and recording data. This may be done through surveys, interviews, and observations. Table. A table is an arrangement of data, typically in rows and columns, that summarizes it in easy-to-understand format. Line graph. Line graph is used to display data that shows change over time a series of data points connected by a straight line segments. Let's go over the steps of showing data in a table. 
when we present data in a tabular form, first determine the needed number of columns and rows. Next, label properly the first row of the table depending on the data collected. You may also use the first column for this. Third, include a title that briefly describes that data presented. Let us try this example. J. Shell, a resident of Liliu, interviewed the owner of Badong's footwear to determine the number of pairs of slippers they sold each month last 2022. According to the owner, they sold 125 pairs in January, 200 pairs in February, 175 pairs in March, 475 pairs in April, 50 pairs in May, 100 pairs in June, 300 pairs in July, 150 pairs in August, 150 pairs in September, 50 pairs in October, 350 pairs in November, and 400 pairs in December. Present the data collected using a table. Solution First, decide on the number of rows and columns needed. You may use two columns for the month and number of pairs sold and 13 rows. First row for the label and the remaining rows for the months. Then, you may use month and pairs for the label of the first row. Allow the learners to complete the data for each column. Lastly, include a title that briefly describes the table. Pairs of slippers sold per month, 2022. Here are the steps in presenting data in single line graph. First, draw a vertical scale with tick marks. Label the tick marks and give the scale a label. Second, draw a horizontal scale with tick marks. Label the tick marks and give the scale a label. Third, plot a dot in each data value. Fourth, Connect the dots and give the graph a title. Let's do this example. Your home economics teacher wanted you to determine the number of Sarisari stores in the six barangays of your municipality. The table on the next slide shows your observations. Number of Sarisari stores per barangay. Barangay Kanlurang Bukal, 10 stores. Ilayang Palina, 3 stores. Maslun, 5 stores. Burgos, 7 stores. Oples, 1 store. Masikap, 4 stores. Present the data using a single line graph. Solution, first, create a horizontal and vertical scale with tick marks. Label the tick marks and label the scale. Note, data presented as numbers should be in the horizontal scale. Next is to plot each data value, then connect it. Lastly, give it a title.
Activity 3, Draw and Interpret. See Worksheet Activity Number 1. Instructions, Analyze the Given Situation. Draw a line graph that represents the data on the table and answer the question that follows. A mini zoo recorded the number of their visitors for six days. The table below shows their record. Day 1, 200 visitors. Day 2, 600 visitors. Day 3, 400 visitors. Day 4, 350 visitors. Day 5, 800 visitors. And Day 6, 500 visitors.